Hi, welcome to CAST STEM. We're a career-based high school where students get to learn about careers like global logistics and engineering. Let's check it out. CASTEM is really unique because it was born out of a partnership between school districts and industry. So it is unique in that industry members help to shape it, help to inform what could happen here, and worked really collaboratively with educators to figure out how that could happen in a high school campus. There's also the day-to-day -day interaction where we have industry members working side-by-side, -side, mentoring students, collaborating with students, um, creating launch events for students so that students know how to jump into problem solving. So that's that's the beauty of a campus like ours, and that's what's special. At CASTEM, there's an advisory committee where students get together with the principal to share ideas for new classes or groups. I really feel like I have a voice here at CASTEM because I've been picked to be a part of a superintendent meeting. And I talked to the superintendent about our school and about um, what improvements we could have. And um, when it comes to talking to the principal and the staff, they listen to us and like they Right now we're picking our mascot of the school, so that's really cool, because that other school, you can't really do that because they pick it. There's a lot of times when we wanted something and we got it because we have a big voice here, like student homecoming or a club, because if we get five people or we get a sponsorship, like a teacher, someone stay after school with us, we can actually start a club for people going. And that's happened before already. We have the military explorers because people wanted to learn more about the military. And I felt like, a lot of the students here have really enjoyed that kind of environment to be able to have their voice spoken and people that really understand them. Here at CASTEM, we take learning pretty seriously. That's why we do PBLs, so we can prepare students for real world challenges and problems. I really enjoy CAS and I really enjoy the opportunities and the social impact. My favorite part would be the PBLs because we get to like look at the countries and problems and we get to solve it in our own different kind of way. And it's pretty cool seeing how everyone can get their own ideas and solutions and build prototypes. It's really cool for me. Um, here we're cross-curricular uh, through the PBL project-based learning um, at this school. It's in all subjects, so we, we're, it's essential that we all communicate with each other about what we're doing. Did you know CAS students earn up to two years of college credit and industry certifications? So our students at CASTEM have the opportunity to earn college credit from their freshman year all the way through their senior year. The goal is that they are working in a pathway that would lead them to a four-year degree, would lead them to an associate's degree, or would lead them to a really strong opportunity to have a career in the future. So we really believe that if every student has an opportunity to learn or engage, we want to make that happen. All students at a freshman level are getting to learn how to use power tools, um, learning about safety, getting certified in OSHA at the ninth grade level versus another STEM school where they might get that opportunity during 11th and 12th grade. Robotics and engineering are just a couple of the opportunities for hands-on learning at CASTEM. Honestly, I love everything about CAS because usually in normal high school or my old middle school, we do the same thing every day. But here in CAS, we do like different things and most of the stuff are like hands-on activities and I love hands-on activities because it, it engages the student and it, it makes us uh, be able to, to learn more and, and I, I really like that. So the game of life was brought up by, by the administration and the teachers to try to bring that social interpersonal um, aspect to our school. So what we decided to do instead of just giving them a blank check or fabricating the amount of money they get, we decided to go based off of the grades from the nine weeks. So if a student was between like a hundred and a ninety-five, they get this many dollars versus a student that was an eighty and eighty-five. So based off of that, they had to choose the car that they wanted to drive. Um, they had to go through insurance. Then they had to go to health insurance. So they're starting to recognize budgeting. You know, how much play do I have to do other things that I want to do, such as getting that motorcycle? You know, is it affordable or is it not really a necessity? 
We believe strongly that you can't go wrong if you collaborate with the right partners. So in the future, we hope to continue growing our partnerships, expanding who is willing to work with us to support our students, uh, understand our students' dreams and passions more deeply so that we can build the right learning opportunities for them in conjunction with our partners in the community. So our dream at CASTEM is that our students who are studying uh, 9th through 12th grade will have built such a strong relationship with industry members that they can't resist hiring them. We partner with the industry uh, here in San Antonio and we talk with them and we kind of find out what they need and what they're looking for in today's business. So we prepare them for not only what they're looking for today, but what they're looking for tomorrow as well. So we're basically training them for jobs that don't even exist yet. We, we have these drones and we're thinking how can we use them um, in, in, in our pathways. You know, right off the bat we thought engineering would be perfect for this. But then as we started doing more research, we found out that the future of drones in logistics is going to be very big in the near future. Right now, in just warehousing alone, uh, drones are being used to inventory, to as their uh, warehouse management systems. So that's what we are looking forward to. And now trying to associate that with uh, logistics, we came up with a lot of ideas. So I think using these drones and trying to figure out how they're going to best be utilized through the logistics and supply chain, uh, it's going to really be beneficial when they go out there looking for a job. I think they'll be better prepared because we were anticipating these challenges and these uh, changes in the industry. At a normal high school, you might see people putting books in these, but instead, we're issued Chromebooks. For the learning, they have a Chromebook. We don't use books, actually, and to the point that in my class myself, I don't use paper at all. Like mine is completely full, 100% electronic. So all the documents, the assignments, the resources are all online. So even if they're absent, they can still have access to the assignments, to the resources, so they're not behind. We show them how to do searches. We show them how to use all the G Suite's applications. So they know the way around almost everything that has to do with Google. And uh, we also offer on a monthly basis a digital citizenship lessons for them just also to, to teach them how to behave when they're online. So we use the same technology as they do so that we can help them troubleshoot and they help us out sometimes. Perpendicular or pilot? In robotics class, we learn about um, putting our robots together and what we could do to our PBLs. My last PBL, we implemented them and I put it into my project. So I got parts and I made uh, different things for like sewers and stuff like that to help uh, the planet. We have this thing called Robot C, which we use to code them. And we make them function the way that we want them to. So we're working on coding and we also um, 3D print in our engineering class. And it helps us learn more about how to, things function and how to build something. So the Alamo City Electrothon is a, re it's a local competition here in San Antonio. It's, it's an endurance uh, piece component where students have to use two batteries in their car and run efficiently for one hour. So they, they want to push the car to their limit, but at the same time they don't want to run out of the battery or they can't finish their laps. So being able to take that car onto the field at Traders Village last year and having a lot of issues the first hour of our heat it taught us, you know, to be humble, but also to be robust in our team. I feel like CAS really prepares you for life because in other schools you would just go to reading, writing, math class, regular stuff, but in here you kind of relate to like reality and it can really get you prepared for when you get actually in the workforce or you actually get out in life. When I tell other students or from people like from other schools um, how the CAS experience is like, I like to tell them about what we have and what we do and what we learn and the fun experiences we have in the school and all the kind of stuff we can learn and really experience and how we learn like through PBLs and professionals and teaching learns and how we go out and actually get to experience careers and stuff like that. My parents appreciate that I am able to get dual credit at a school like this because it's fun and my parents didn't get to go to college and it's something that is really amazing that I get to go to college really early. What excites me about coming to work every day is being able to uh, teach my passion. You know, something that, that I really enjoy doing, I get to teach it as well. 
You know, uh, I've been teaching for 20 years and I've taught, you know, every subject from math to science to uh, social studies, but to be able to teach something that I have a, a real passion for, uh, that's what gets me out of bed every day, you know, and it, it gets me excited and, and you know, I've only been doing this for a couple of years working with the logistics and, and I, 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 get, I get excited, you know, I'm one of the, I, I feel like a new teacher again, you know, so that's how I feel about teaching and that's what gets me out of bed every day. Makes me feel amazing. Uh, one thing that I've, I've grown to know or to learn is that we're a new school, so as a school builds, so does our resources build. So I'm really looking forward to what the future has to offer. Um, just as of right now, we already have a lot of the essential equipment that we need, and I'm just so impressed with what we have. And I'm looking forward to advancing our technology and our equipment usage as we grow. Well, that's our tour for Cash STEM. I hope you enjoyed. Later.